so this will be um, four different subjects. We're going to talk about King George's birthday, Tiffany Trump's wedding, uh, Harry and Meghan, and then also the Arizona USA governor's race between the Democrat and the Republican. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So it just seemed like it's a good idea to talk about uh, King George's birthday. And I can't help but think, I mean, when you look at what Harry and Meghan are doing, they're celebrating the orphaned uh, children, and Harry made that impassioned uh, speech where he says uh, he uh, recognizes uh, their pain uh, having also lost a parent. So um, very touching. It makes you think, what is King George doing with his birthday? Uh, I'm sorry, King Charles. Why do I keep saying King George? King Charles, what is he doing with his birthday? And... Um, We'll see. And then, of course, uh, what did I say? Tiffany Trump's wedding. I want to find out what her husband's name is and talk about that. And uh, the whole event at Mar-a-Lago, and I'm sure it was just a big Donald Trump event, uh, opportunity to cry about how he's being wronged. And then the Arizona governor's race. I'm not sure when this goes out, if it'll already be decided, but uh, we'll talk about the, uh, the Democratic and the uh, Republican uh, candidates, and I'll put their names and their pictures up. Okay, so we'll see how this goes. We've got four questions. We're going to talk about King Charles III's birthday. We're going to talk about Prince Harry's um, uh, organization for orphans in South Africa. Tiffany Trump and her husband, Michael Boulos. Uh, and then the, the Arizona governor's race between Katie Hobbs and Carrie Blake. But before we do any of that, Take a moment for meditation. Okay. King Charles' birthday. Um, what are we to think of that? So, what are we to think of of this? That there we should be some sort of a celebration of his birth. I guess this is exactly what uh, the Queen would want us to do, to recognize the change of guard and to get on with things. Um, it seems soon to have a little celebration, and maybe they're really not having that much of a celebration at all. Anyway, it's all seemed to be very uh, military. Uh, driven three cards for King Charles's birthday to see uh, what direction the cards are going to take us into. What do we need to know? What can the cards tell us? In three cards about King Charles III's birthday. Ah, so a tower moment. So um, this is the tower is not good. It's it's a disaster. The next card up is justice, finding a balance, and then the last card up is the Nine of Wands, which is uh, kind of being in battle, your plan's kind of being challenged, but this person looks very confident in that. So I think if we put these in the order that they were drawn, it makes a little more sense. So King Charles's birthday, yeah, it comes on the heels of that disaster, his mother being gone, uh, and it's kind of in the past position. And we're, where we are right now is trying to find that balance, find the justice uh, in, uh, in understanding who he is and what he has to do. And, uh, and in the future, just knowing that he's got a lot to deal with. These, these challenges are, but, but he is looking confident towards that. So this birthday for King Charles is kind of a marker. Uh, it's saying, okay, this happened, mom is gone. Now I'm trying to find this balance and I understand that it's gonna be a, you know, a struggle. Will, Three cards will he be 
loved. One, two. I think he already is. Let's see what the cards say. Look at that. King Charles. Loved. Two of Pentacles. There's a, a, a still a certain amount of uh, getting that value balanced just right. And the Knight of Pentacles, it puts him in the position of the one that uh, has to do that. And the Queen of Cups is tons of uh, queenly compassion uh, for the situation. So I think he will. He will find the balance. Now for Prince Harry and this Prince Seiso, I suppose that's how it's pronounced, S-E-E-I-S-O, uh, regarding the South African orphans of Lesotho and Botswana. Okay. And, uh, you know, that name for that organization is Centibale, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it means, it's in that uh, South African language, and translated it kind of means forget-me-not. So very um, sweet sort of a, a name for those orphans, forget-me-not. Um, is this an honest endeavor for Harry? Three cards. One, two, three. Is this an honest endeavor for Harry? Let's see. Yeah, you know, remembering the past. And that's where he is. He's identifying with these kids. He's remembering having lost uh, his parent. And, uh, and again, just like Charles, finding the balance in that value. And, um, and the chariot is moving things on uh, at a rapid pace. He wants to get this, the, 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 the good stuff going on. So yeah, this is, this is legitimate. Okay, so it's a, 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 a recalling of the past. Okay, it's finding that balance and moving things forward. It's some sort of a, of a clip. So he's in this for all the right reasons. And will this organization be uh, successful? One, two, three. Will this organization, organization be a success? Ah, the lover's cards. And this is the major arcana. So yeah, it's a good pairing. Oh, I love when the cards repeat. Getting that value just right. And the four of pentacles is really uh, wanting to hold on to your value, keep it close to your heart. And so, yeah, I think it will be. It's going to be something that's going to be nurtured. Uh, it's uh, born out of a true, uh, out of true feelings, and uh, there is a work going on to find the right balance to to make sure it all works good. So, yeah, it's all honest and good, and moving in the right direction. Now, uh, having said that, honest and good, moving in the right direction. Let's talk about Tiffany Trump and her new husband, Michael Bulos. I suppose this house pronounced. So. What can the cards tell us in just three cards to kind of get us going in the right direction about Tiffany Trump and her husband, Michael Bulos? Okay, is this a real love match? One, two, three. I mean, he's marrying her amidst all this insanity. First card up. Five of Pentacles being left out in the cold. So yeah, she's she's putting herself in a position of uh, aside from the rest of that family, firmly. Wow, and the Nine of Swords is a it's a nightmare. The final card, the Ten of Wands is it's a heavy load to carry. Wow, so none of this and let's put them in the order they were pulled. None of this is going to be um, all that pleasant regarding the, the, her family ties. This marriage leaves, puts her solidly out and cold from the family. I don't know that it's a bad thing. Um, and with this Nine of Swords, just tells you that negotiating that with, with her family, that's the nightmare of the whole thing. And then the Ten of Wands is letting us understand that this is a hard road uh, that she's on. Interesting. You would think that she married this rich guy and now her problems are over. Not necessarily. And then, will that marriage be successful? One, two, three. Will that marriage be successful? I would love to see that she becomes some kind of a part of a power couple of good. Eight of Cups 
is uh, walking away from some emotional, uh, something of a lot of emotional value to you. Will a marriage be successful? The Knight of Pentacles, well, fighting for the value. And uh, so that's a, a good uh, omen for the marriage, that there's a Knight of Value fighting for it. And the Queen of Swords, um, that a uh, truth, justice, rules, and law, this has to be Tiffany, actually. And uh, she's off on a new journey where she's seeking her own truth. So will the marriage be successful? Well, she's turned her back on that whole Trump uh, debacle. And um, the, it's going to be a, a fight, uh, a, someone dedicated to making sure that value works. And, uh, and she's going to redefine herself as the queen of her own truth. Arizona governor's race, uh, Democrat Katie Hobbs and Republican Carrie Lake, the election denier. So what can the cards tell us? about those two. Let's do four cards. Two for Katie. Oh, wow. Let me shuffle these up really well. So four cards. Two for Katie and two for Carrie Lake. Two for Katie Hobbs and two for Carrie Lake. Now this uh, video will go out on Tuesday morning, I think, and I don't know if there'll be an official decision yet. So we'll see how this stands up. Four cards, two for Katie Hobbs, one, two, and two for Carrie Lake, one, two. Let's see how that works out. Okay. First card for Katie Hobbs, the sun, a star, celebrations. Second card for Hobbs is the three of pentacles working together to put something up for public display. For Carrie Lake, left out in the cold, but the Queen of Cups, the Queen of uh, almost like a drama queen. So yeah, Katie Hobbs is here. Uh, the, the sun is shining down on her, and she's ready to get to work. Okay, and uh, Carrie Lake is left out in the cold, and uh, and an emotional wreck actually, or you know a big drama queen. So uh, she was going to cause a lot of noise around it, and she's going to get down to work. So that's all I got. There you go. Four topics today. I hope you enjoyed them. I'm still trying out this new camera situation and hoping that it's working well. And unfortunately, it's showing uh, me as I actually really look, which is uh, sad for you. So, but um, talk to you next time. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So the Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann wonderful cards. They're very beachy. They're very now. Uh, the container they come in is really nice. It has some nice thoughts inside. And um, the cards themselves and the guidebook, all of this is good. The, um, the guidebook, although it's not in color, it's readable and uh, it gives some good ideas as to how you might uh, interpret some of these cards. Of course, you know, the interpretation is very personal, so you have to decide if those inter interpretations entirely work for you. But they're based on the Rider Waite system, and you can see that the art goes right to the edge of the cards. They're very colorful. They're very, uh, they just speak to you right away. I mean, you just, even if you didn't know what uh, uh, the symbols of the cards mean, I think anybody could look at some of these cards and think, oh, okay, this is what it means to me. Like I always say, I love to uh, have someone, if we're going to do a reading, kind of spread the cards out like this, and then they kind of get into the game. They start looking at the art, and their mind sort of kind of gets into the uh, into the mode of, of let's get some truth out here. Let's get some, some tarot reading done. So Light Sears Tarot, really, really nice cards. Hey, I'm Mark. It's been my journey through tarot. I'm going to do it all again tomorrow if you want to come, so... Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.